to say it now because earlier my fur babies were snoozing on the bed so I didn't want to disturb them but I have something to show you I'm just waiting on the uh, tube nurse coming to change the uh, feeding tube in my stomach so I'm going to show you all the prep I've got it all ready for her and then she should just be able to come in do it and we're done hopefully because uh, in the past we have had a few problems with pH in my stomach but I think I've got a way to sort that now let me show you what I've got on my little table. Well, firstly, not on my table. There's a Monty and there's a Millie. Oh, and she's here. So I've got syringes, my feeding tube, Lucasade for my pH, testing strips and boiled, boiled water. Hi again everyone. Well, it is later in the day and I don't have anything to show you because I'm absolutely ready for my bed. I don't normally feel like this after a tube change. I just feel shattered, to be honest. Uh, when she came <clears throat> round my side, where um the tube goes in she had a look and she went oh, i'm not sure i can do this joanne and i went of course you can why and she said well your sight looks sore is it sore and i went well <clears throat> yeah but i mean <clears throat> <clears throat> To be honest with you, it's somewhat unexpected because I look after my peg site so well. I don't have um, a history of, you know, soreness or anything. Anyway, she had a good look and she says, well, it's actually round your site. It's not where the tube goes in. That's what they class as, you know, the site, the hole, basically, that goes into your body. So she took my old tube out and it looked really not good. A bit grotty, a lot grotty on the end. And then went to put the new tube in she put it in and she has to draw some stomach fluid off to check the pH to make sure it is in my stomach and anyway, she went to do that and she got blood back and I've never had that either so goodness knows what was going on but obviously there was a bit of trauma somewhere it's all good though now it's sort of like it's calmed down oh goodness am i ever gonna hold this camera in one place i doubt it today but <clears throat> i just I just feel so tired now. And it's frustrating. It really is frustrating. You know, I've done nothing. I've been nowhere. That's today. Oh, no, sorry. I sat at the table in the kitchen and made a bow. For a wreath. That's what. Excuse me. <laughs> no, did you see that? That's what I've done today, lovelies. 
But for now, I am going to go and I'm going to get in my bed and hopefully get a good night's sleep. And then tomorrow, it will be off to the doctors to do another urine sample and what else? Well, yeah, flu jab. Um, and B12. That's tomorrow. Don't know what else will be, but <clears throat> we will see, won't we? Anyway, I hope you liked seeing my fur babies cuddling up on the bed this morning with me. It was like they were at um, a right angle, the two of them. You know, one at, well, the bottom of a long stump across there. And then Monty up the side of me, almost like they were guarding me, caged me in because I have my wheelchair at the side of the bed. So I couldn't have gone anywhere <laughs> if I'd have tried. Bless them, they're gorgeous. Right, so until the next vlog, my lovely people, people, Goodness, try that again. Until the next vlog, my lovely, lovely, lovely people, which will hopefully be tomorrow, stay safe, look after yourself and each other, and hopefully, fingers crossed, and a fair wind blowing, I will see you all tomorrow. Till then, na night and take care wherever you are in the world. Bye for now. Bye bye.